Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Monday, the 6th of June, 2022, is the Memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church. My promise deceiveth no man, nor sendeth the way empty him that trusteth in me. What I have promised I will give, what I have said I will make good, if only a man continue to the end faithful in my love. I am the rewarder of all the good, and the mighty prover of all the devout. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, increase my hunger for you and show me the way that leads to everlasting peace and happiness. May I desire you above all else and find perfect joy in doing your will. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Behold your mother. Jesus' most solemn words are spoken from the cross. In entrusting his mother Mary to the beloved disciple, our Lord is concerned for much more than her practical living arrangements. He establishes a relationship between his Holy Mother and all who are united to him, that is, the Church. We too behold our Mother, for she is the Mother of all who live the new life of grace. We turn to her especially when we experience the cross, knowing she is standing by. Today's memorial teaches us that growth in the Christian life must be anchored to the mystery of the cross to the oblation of Christ in the Eucharistic banquet, and to the Mother of the Redeemer and Mother of the Redeemed, the Virgin who makes her offering to God. The Epistle The Mother of All the Living A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verse 9 After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid, because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten, then, from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head, while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all the living. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 87 Responsorial 
Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves the gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia O happy virgin, you gave birth to the Lord. O blessed mother of the church, you warm our hearts with the spirit of your son, Jesus Christ. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel Woman, behold your son, behold your mother. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 19 verse 25. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. After this, aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine. So they put a sponge soaked in wine on a sprig of hyssop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. Now, since it was preparation day, in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs be broken and they be taken down. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and then of the other one who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs, but one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation From that hour the disciple took her into his home. John 19.27 Even in the last hours of his crucifixion, Jesus was thinking of his mother. He didn't want her to be left alone after his death, nor did he want her to wonder what would happen to her after he was gone. So as Mary stood at the foot of his cross, he entrusted her to his disciples' care. And from that hour, John took her into his home.
and caring so conscientiously for his mother, Jesus was, in a real sense, also caring for us. For just as he gave his beloved mother to John, he also gave her to each one of us. He knew that we would need a mother. We would need a mother's special compassion, mercy, wisdom, and tenderness. Someone who would intercede and advocate for her children. This was the gift Jesus gave to us, one that we cherish on this special feast of Mary, Mother of the Church. But perhaps Jesus also entrusted Mary to John's care because he wanted her to be integrally involved in what would happen next. His glorious resurrection, the waiting and praying in the upper room, and the coming of the Spirit on Pentecost. He could have carefully placed her away somewhere hidden and safe, but this would have put her far from all the action. As mother of the church, her role was to be right in the midst of all that was to come. She would take it all in, immersing herself in the breath of the Spirit. Imagine how exciting that was for her, this woman who had already lived her life deeply filled with the Holy Spirit. Mary's role today is still to be right in the midst of all that is happening in our lives and all that is to come. So with freedom and confidence, turn to her in your need. You can count on Mary's devotion and heart of mercy. On this feast of Our Lady, turn to her and trust her with the intentions you hold most dear. Ask her to intercede for you as she always does with her tender mother's heart. Mary, Mother of God, pray for me. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May His peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.